we're going to talk about the AWM 500 or AMW 500. What is this? You see, I couldn't even get it right. AWM 500D. There you go. G-Shocks don't count. I've heard that excuse so many times from collectors trying to separate their G-Shocks in a different category compared to their mechanical watches. But what if I tell you that there's an actual G-Shock that bridges the gap between the two? The AWM 500D. Let's talk about it. The AWM 500D has a diameter of 44.5 mm with a gargantuan 51.8 mm lug distance. The thickness is a remarkable 14.2 mm which is saying much for a G-Shock. This model employs a screw-down case back that houses the modest 5640 module. Famous for its features, this G-Shock has loads of timing functions and utilities. Missing from this full metal Casio, however, is a Bluetooth connectivity. The exterior provides more than the usual G-Shock with its monoblock construction. This however lacks the fan favorite sapphire crystal. Instead it uses a mineral glass that should be enough for most situations. It's an unusual model from Casio that's based on the first Anna Digi G-Shock back in 1989. We made a detailed video of this history and development that you might want to visit on the card above or link in the description. The best way to experience this model is really to experience it. It's quite heavy yet super solid on a single block of metal. It's premium feeling much like the other metal G-Shocks with the screwed case back. The finish is amazingly not like any other G-Shock. Those extended lugs really blows up its proportions especially on smaller wrists. Despite its massive presence, it wears comfortably because of its form and bracelet articulation. That bracelet is a real showstopper because of all the incredible light play that you must see to believe. Every turn provides a fluid ballet of shadows and light that any Swiss brand would be jealous about. Almost every link is removable with those short spring bars, there's a solid bridge used for the clasp, and the enclosure is equally reliable. Casio included four adjustment holes for micro-sizing. The clasp is rather plain and thin, something that G-Shock could have improved on. Pressing the button on this one is easier than many G-Shocks. There is also a special feature that clears away the hands from the view of the display. A clever gimmick, but it's also an opportunity to see that sweeping action of those hands. Still present on this model is the clever cycle of beeps. Whenever you keep pressing the mode button, it will beep a particular tone. On the last beep, the pitch is different, signifying you've cycled through all of the modes. Yeah, I know it's quirky, but I love these small details. Let's have a closer look at its many fine details and explore this watch like any collectible timepiece. This is why we fall in love with these watches. The texts are crisply engraved in contrast with the fine brush finish of the case. These deep and beautiful crevices are visually appealing while light streaks slide across that fine circular finish. These are elegantly broken up by mirrored chamfers as well. The overextended lug structure naturally continues the curving flow of the case. This also integrates seamlessly to the bracelet, forming the perfect circle concept of the watch. The level of complexity in this case is also observable from the sides where alternating polished and hairline finish gorgeously forms the case. There is also a fine polished chamfer that surrounds the buttons, another luxury watch feature. The dial is not spared with these details either. The text is cleanly printed over the sunray finish. The monolithic hour markers are finely lined for texture. Even the display window is clean and uncluttered. Down to the hands, the matte surface subtly glistens for visual distinction. The hands are barely loomed, but the dual LED feature provides more than enough light in the dark. Now if you turn off your brain for 6 seconds and forget that this is a quartz watch, you can actually drop this in the middle of a stainless steel collection. Blasphemous, right? but a good diverse collection it would still make. Beside a mechanical chronograph, the Omega Speedmaster Mark II, the thickness is not that much different, but it's certainly more accurate than this 50-year-old mechanical watch. There is more textural interest on the AWM500, making it a fun alternative in the rotation. Beside the Submariner, it's a clear polar opposite. 
the sub is quite a bit thinner and falls on the dress casual side of things. From this view, you can imagine having the sub as your diver and the AWM500 as your above average field watch with its simpler face and mirrored chamfers. I don't know about you, but these three have a good mix of vintage, modern, and iconic. Ever since its release, I've been keen and on the lookout for one that I could buy on a discount. Actually, it wasn't that hard to find deals for this. I'm just on the fence because Casio keeps pulling me to their other full metal offerings. I guess I'm not the only one. It doesn't enjoy this same excitement and hype like its more squarish cousins. But as you actually experience this through wear and sight, you can quickly conclude that it's simply different. It tips the needle more on the conventional watch collection than a G-Shock stockpile. It's not a knock against other G-Shock models, but this one seems to have gotten a little bit more love on the design side. You just need to look a little bit closer to appreciate its delicate flourishes. These same flourishes we write blogs about and build collections with. Something we typically reserve for our mechanical watches. It makes you wonder why create a distinction between the two in the first place. Casio lists the AWM500 as a limited edition full metal G-Shock. It's fairly easy to get it online right now and it might be the best time to get one. And if there's someone who asks why do you have it in your collection, well, it's a G-Shock. Do I sound na galit? Trying to be as natural while I script, you know? This mic, we need a new mic. She pretends she's not hearing me. <laughs>